Todd Wetzel is an aerospace engineer and thermal systems team leader at GE. He's about to explain why suck, squeeze, bang, blow is a great way to talk about jet engine operation and not just some weird phrase I made up to get your attention. I would never do that to you guys. It's actually science. You ever look around at all the incredible technology in our world and think to yourself, how in the name of science does all this work? Me too. I'm Baratunde Thurston and this is GE Masterclass. Well, thanks for having me here. I want to start with the basics. How does a jet engine work? We typically think of four stages. You know, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. So the suck is, it inhales a lot of air. Then you squeeze it down, all right? And you really have to squeeze it down really far and make it very dense. So now I've got this really high density air. Now comes the, the fun part, bang, all right? Squirt some fuel into it and you ignite it on fire. And what it does is it makes that really dense air now very, very hot. Now you got this very high temperature, very hot, very high pressure air. This high density air pushes a, a turbine really fast, spins it, that gives me some power to kind of spin the rest of the engine, but then also you get some thrust. All right, now that's how a turbo jet works, but that's like an old style jet engine. All the engines that we've flown on for at least 40 years are actually called turbo fans, all right? So remember I told you that turbine that I'm blowing on, right, is spinning and it's making power. It's like a motor, right, spinning a shaft. That spins a shaft that goes all the way to the front of the engine and spins this huge fan. That thing gulps in humongous amounts of air, and the whole deal is to make it really efficient. Instead of this small stream of air that's going out really fast out of the back, you now take a humongous stream of air, and you make it go a little faster, but not nearly as fast as what we do with that turbojet. And that makes a very efficient engine. That's how all the engines work that we fly on today. Because the volume of air yeah. times its speed is what gives you that, that thrust. Exactly. Oh, who's a scientist? You got that's it. That's what I'm talking about.